Alrighty guys, before the video, I just want to really quickly say thank you so much to whoever sent this gift slash toy that's used in this video. It was really, really fun, and I think it was pretty funny. And you're about to see what I'm talking about right now. Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, I am with the Barn Dominium Kitties. Um, you guys have commented a lot lately that y'all want to see how they're doing over here. And I figured we can kill two birds with one stone right now because we can get a cute video of these guys. And also... We can try out a package that somebody... Oh, don't want to record that. <laughs> we can kill two birds with one stone here. I'm going to get a good video of the Barn Dominium kitties playing and spending time with each other. And I will open a package that someone sent us a few days ago. This right here is called a weasel ball. Um, it's battery powered. It's like a ball that has a fake, I guess, ferret or weasel animal attached to it. It's really, really cool what it does. I can hit this button right here. To, I put the batteries in already. It just takes one AAA battery. That's it. So I can hit this power button to turn it on. And then when I let the ball on the ground, it starts rolling around and it actually looks like a, there is a ferret chasing a ball. It's really, really cool. Let me demonstrate. Power on. <laughs> All right, let's see how the kittens react to this. I'm not sure if y'all have seen, but Nikki Bella right here, who used to live with Gigi and Paw Paw, has also been moved to the Barn Dominium. I figured that she would be a good head leader and she would kind of be able to teach the little babies the tricks of the trade, the arts to being a hunter of mice. Yeah, so Gigi gave me the idea to bring her over here and it's worked out really well. She's been a great mentor, a great companion for the babies. And it's good to have someone, she's kind of a baby herself. You can see she's not even very big. She's no, she's not big by any means, but it's good for them to have a companion, to have an elder who's even a little bit older than them. I'm gonna get at ground level so y'all can see how big she is, cause you can't really tell much from that bird's eye view. Hey, Nikki Bella, what's up, sweetie? She's so sweet. She loves the attention. I think at Gigi and Papa's house, she wasn't this friendly. So it's crazy that being with the little babies has made her become a lovey-dovey cat. Hey, baby, what are you doing? Guys, don't tell Gigi, but there there were two yellow ones out of Cutie Pie's five babies. There was uh, three gray ones and two yellow ones. And one of the yellow ones she named Seamus. And she really, she was going to give my dad any three that he wanted. But the only thing she needed to do was she needed to keep Seamus, the yellow one that she loved. And she identified Seamus by some sort of marking that he had. And... It's funny that she gave my dad these two gray ones, obviously, and then this yellow one because she thought that the other yellow one she was keeping was Seamus, except that Elijah came over one weekend, and I was like, here, Elijah, play with Seamus, and Elijah picks up the yellow cat that's at G's house and goes, this isn't Seamus, and I was like, what What do you mean? And then he goes, that, yeah, Seamus is the one with the mark on his nose or whatever. I don't even know where the mark's at, and then... <laughs> And I was like, wait, so Seamus is the one who went to my dad's house? And Elijah's like, yeah, I guess G sent the wrong one. So don't tell, long story short, guys, don't tell G. She thinks that, according to Elijah, Gigi thinks that she has Seamus over there, but truthfully, this is Seamus right here. A lot of kittens named after wrestlers, huh? If this is Nikki Bella and this one's Seamus, where, he, where Seamus is right here, yeah. If he's Seamus, then... These two can be Shinsuke Nakamura, and uh, we already have a Roman Reigns. So who else is popular? We can have a we can have a a Biggie or a Kofi. <laughs> oh, this yeah okay. So this can be uh, Biggie. This can be Kofi, and this can be Xavier Woods. We can call him the New Day. Only you who watch wrestling will even understand that reference. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys yeah but i kind of just went off i kind of went off on a tangent again kitty what are you doing man these cats are like very energetic they're excitable i gotta admit y'all know i have a soft spot for cats so i'm not complaining by any means at all kitty you're crawling under my leg kitty okay here what i came here for was to continue the game with the little ball Oh, look, guys, it's an actual ferret. Oh, guys, look, there's an actual ferret chasing a ball right there. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you see that? Oh, yeah, great kitty wants to... Uh-oh. <laughs> this gift is awesome, whoever sent it. Oh, are you scared? No. You're supposed to be excited. It's supposed to be an exciting cat toy. It's not supposed to scare you. Whoever made this thing, however they, like, manufactured it and programmed it, however they sketched it to... I can't, I, mean, I can't even think of the right words, obviously. Y'all can tell that I don't know much about design and all that, but whoever produced this product, whatever company, they did a really good job because it does realistic ferret-like motions. Look at the catch just staring at it. They want to chase it. Oh, and even Nikki Bella's scared. If, yeah, if she's scared, then they're for sure going to be scared. Guys, it's supposed to be an exciting cat toy. It's not supposed to scare you. Come on, y'all. Go chase it. Oh, Nikki Bella. Oh, they're running. Look, they're running away from it. They think some humongous little rodent is in here. Guys, come on. That's what y'all are here for was, is to kill the rodents. Y'all are here to keep the rodents from inheriting this house. Isn't that what y'all are here for? Is to help get rid of our rodent problem? You can't be scared of them just because it's a little bigger than what you expected. So guys, what it turns out to be is that this is a test. We're testing them to see how well they'll react to a potential rodent in the house and whether they'll take care of it or not. And so far, they're failing. If there's no mice here, that's because they're scared of the cat's presence. But the way that it's looking right now, if a mouse ever came in here, he'd have no problems. The kittens would be terrified of it. Did I run out of battery? Oh, no. Oh, it just auto shut off for like one or two minutes. Look at them. They're so scared. Guys, you, you don't got to be scared. It's okay. Don't be scared, kitties. Let's try this again. Here we go. Uh-oh. Get the ferret, get the ferret, guys. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that because I love ferrets. <laughs> They're just sitting there staring at it, guys. What the heck? If this is what they would do if there was a mouse in here, then they would not be doing their job very good. This is the same, these cats are the same thing as a, okay, there you go. One of them, Seamus, is starting to make a move. Now he's not, now he just gave up. Guys, they, these cats are just like scarecrows. Their presence will keep many things away. Their presence will intimidate the rodents, but truthfully, if they ever, if the rodent ever came in here, they would have to worry about nothing. Like Nikki Bell is staring for, like Nikki Bell is so scared she won't even get down there with it. She's sitting up here at the top. Nikki Bella is the most scared one and she's the biggest and the oldest. That'd be like the older brother being terrified of something and making his little brother do it for him. It'd be the same thing as if there was some like dangerous animal outside and I was terrified of it, but Lex had to go out there and like take care of our family. That'd be kind of embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> This toy is funny. Yeah, these cats are like scarecrows. Their presence is scary, but they won't actually do anything to you. Same thing as, yeah, you know, if there was a dangerous animal, it'd be scared of what that scarecrow looks like. But truthfully, it won't hurt you. It won't do anything to you. Here you go. All bark, no bite. <laughs> Come on, guys. This ferret is just taking over y'all's house. This animal. Do something. Y'all you're you're, are really going to let him be the... Oh, oh, Seamus braved it up. Seamus, Seamus braved it. Okay, good job, Seamus.
<laughs> Can't believe that Nikki Bella, the one who's supposed to be the oldest and supposed to be the ringleader, is the one hiding in the bag the most terrified. Now that it stopped moving, they seem to be investigating the matter a bit more thoroughly. Oh, now, okay, now Nikki Bella, now that she's shame is doing it, she's okay. Now she's like, oh, okay, now I'll go have a look. I think right about now they're realizing it's fake. Maybe they've known the whole time. Little kitties. Alrighty guys, well, I think I've gotten a good video of these Barn Dominium kitties. As you can see, they're doing just well. Even though their pouncing skills on that toy may not have looked the best, at least their presence alone is keeping the mice away. So that's something. There's always a use and benefit in walking scarecrows. <laughs> With that said, guys, hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. Hope you have a great day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.